What's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Edible coming live for one for part of the internet. Yes, I have eyes on my shirt. Don't ask why. Because it's bad boy. Yes, I am one. How you guys doing tonight? How you guys doing? Um, just, if you guys look at the... This is just a random video explaining the other one. So if you guys... I'll post the link in the description. Um, there is a local bar just close to my place. Um, it's called the Moose Pub and Grill. It recently went under seizure um, by the bailiffs. I didn't know about it. Um, how I found out about it was through an auction site that I always subscribe to. I get updates of new auctions and stuff. Um, so, so I went to go check it out. My buddy lives in just close to it, so I call him and say, hey, "Let's go," you know, you know you know inflatable boot and all people are looking at me like I was crazy I'm like it's an inflatable boot relax whatever um so so he shows me I look on the door it says notice of seizure so <clears throat> I'm gonna explain some of this oh oi oi issues bud issues good lord go Sam, guys, I'm just gonna explain some things to this thing. Uh, I don't know if I spelled that right. Uh, so, here's the definition. Uh, notice of seizure. So, um, this is the this is the definition of it. Uh, notice of seizure is a letter or written notice from a Internal Revenue Service. This is the U.S. thing of it, but I'm assuming it's the same context. Um, informing the recipient that authorization has been given to liquidate his or her assets in order to recover income taxes. So I guess they seize that property. And context to um, to uh, get money back. So somebody's been cheating the government. Not saying. Okay. So this is. So here's the. Uh, so it's the same thing. It's basically, I guess, Revenue Canada sees the property, sees the bar, contracted an auction company to come out. And auction everything off. We're talking chairs, TVs, umbrellas, everything in there is up for public auctions. This two weeks from now, it's um 23rd next week. So if you guys want to go out, check it out, I'll post the link in the description of where. Um, notice of seizure. So I'm just looking it up again. Yeah, whatever. It says a notice received for until. So same thing. So I guess revenue can. I guess the guy was paying his taxes. And Revenue Canada, <coughs> you know, pay your taxes, as they say. Um, so it's pretty sad to see the bar go, but I, I'm not a bar guy. I work in bars. I don't need to, you know, care. But it was just, you know, something I wanted to do for my channel, change it up a bit. So, um, so other than that, yeah, that's what a notice of seizure is. So it was seized under Revenue Canada. Send the bailiff in and said, "Yeah, take it. We're taking possession of the property." Um, there is a liquor store attached to it. I don't know anything with the liquor store. I think it. I don't know if it's affiliated with the bar, but I'm thinking it is. But I'm not gonna bother. So I'm gonna look it up right now. Hold on. Ah, Jesus. Okay, so permanently closed. It was on. Um, 14967 104th Avenue. It's directly across from Guilford Mall. If you guys are interested, check it out. Um, all assets are up for public auction. If you guys are bar owners or you know people, go down some good TVs and stuff. You know, um, it says permanently closed. They're not going to specify, w you know, it's not going to explain why, but. Revenue Canada got their hands on it, so I guess another company, Whitward, gone. Um, I do feel sorry for the people that work there, but um, you can't blame them. 
Um, you know, I'm not Revenue Canada, okay? I don't work for Revenue Canada. It's circle of life. You don't pay your taxes. You don't pay for your mortgage. Bank comes knocking. Get out. We own it. That's why when you win a million dollars, pay your mortgage off in full so they don't have to touch you. I've met people, actually, my old neighborhood. It's a nice elderly couple. Husband was a truck driver, semi-truck driver. Big rigs, you know. Uh, Jesus. Kenworth, Peterbilt, all those trucks. You know, he drove them for years, and they paid their house off in full. All they pay is for hydro. That's it. They don't own the bank, nothing. Smart thinking. So... I'm not trying, if you guys think this is just some hate video, it's really not. It's just a sad fact of what goes on. This is like what happens in the U.S. I mean, you don't see it here in Canada. It's the first time I've ever seen this. This is intriguing. So, this is the Google Plus review of the place. A couple people, it's friendly. Gotta love the point. Buying, gotta love the point you get for the buying the beer at the store, Okay. Good place to get drunk. Uh, sorry, drink, my mistake. Decent pub, relaxed, good food at good value. Great food, great people. These are people, this is all from a year, five years ago, year ago, mixture. Uh, this is six years ago, so please don't hold me accountable. This is people's review. I don't know, I was never there. Um, I'm just transcribing it for you guys. Uh, my sister went in there, they refused service because she was looked younger than sister offered her ID to prove that she's like 29 lady said that she couldn't didn't care and told her to get out and never come back I don't know if this is true this is from like you know people from six years ago went there I can understand this is what she says I can understand they believe you look younger for a proof of age but don't ask and I show them they don't care if you service I don't think any place is worth review service with some it's of age and has done nothing customers I'll never go back there based on customer service see Okay, whatever. You know, it's the bar's discretion from, you know, people hyped up the story, which is understandable. I don't know. I wasn't there. If the bar refuses it, I, you know, she did the right thing. She offered her ID, which I would have said, okay, you know, look, you know, that's the problem nowadays. You got, I could look 25. My buddy could look 18, you know. But, okay, whatever. I'm not commenting on this. This is not commentary. On that, um, this is 11 months ago. Find that the bar is a joke. The manager's unprofessional. I will not go back. So, basically, the bar is dead. No. So, is it a sad thing? No. I, I stick with what I stick with. So I, you know, I don't party as much as I did. But yeah, like I'm saying. So basically, what happened is. Either the owners had a dispute, or husband and wife, I don't know. Some falling apart happened, they didn't pay their taxes, Revenue Canada went after them, said, you know, giving you countless warnings, saying, hey, this is going to happen. Maybe they tried talking to them, I don't know. Who knows, not my business. Bailiff comes in, puts it on the door. Seized. We, the minute the bailiff steps on the property, it's seized. Everything in that bar is under his control now. I don't know how it went down. Like I said, I stumbled on this myself. My buddy showed me it. He's like, the hell are you talking? He's like, what are you making a video for? I'm like, dude, it's YouTube. Um, so I hope you guys check it out. I'll post the link in the description, but I'm going to go into this more. I mean, it's a sad reality. Like, don't get me wrong. I have a heart. Surprisingly, I do, because <laughs> I got two like devilish faces on my shoulders. But no, um, so that's a notice of seizure. Um, now, like I said, guys, it is deemed basically a property that is deemed gone. Um. Um, I can't say anything. Wow, look at that. Um, like I said, guys, thank you for everything. You guys have been really awesome. 
Um, and it's a sad reality, guys, that this happened. I wish, you know, you know, people, I'm not ragging. I've been in the situation myself. We all fall on hard times. We all have issues, you know, whether it's marital, whatever. You know, I, I always tell people, you can do this, you know. But if the government's got you between their ass, then yeah. Um, the best thing you can do if you have anything... Um, you guys, it's simple. Um, I would not, you know, it's really sad to see people out of work. Like, I have a heart for people out of work because I've been in the situation myself. I mean, you know, yeah, they can be pissed off at the owners, but I'm saying in blatant layman's terms, guys, it's time and time again they will catch up with you. It's the government. Believe me. I've go I don't I like researching weird things. This is kind of cool because I've seen it. Basically, to summarize it, notice the seizure is Revenue Canada called the bailiff to come out, serve notice saying this is under our control now, we take possession, we're selling everything off to recoup our losses. So he can't take anything out of the property. It's a criminal offense to take anything off the property. Um so, basically, oh, look at that. Um, like I said, guys, you know, it's a sad reality. It's been a lot. It's been around for a long time. I've seen um, a lot of places go from being, you know, just absolute, you know, wonderful establishments to... You know, just everything. You know, the pub like you know what's that? Uh, show? Uh, cheers. You know, it's like the pub that everybody the boys meet at every time after work. You know, but you know, it, it's it pains my heart, man. Because you know these guys are probably not working somewhere else. You can't blame the owner. Don't blame yourself. As long as they get some severance, form of money. Uh, something um whoever i i wish i could conduct an interview i probably won't get this opportunity i don't know i wish i could speak to somebody that used to work at the moose pub i'm willing to blur your face if you don't feel comfortable i really want to talk to you and see the truth of how you felt when they took it over um this is all notorious um it's a really sad fact so basically what I showed you, that's valid paperwork, that's from the bailiff, from the government, stuck on the window, it's public, anybody can view it, you know, it's not a crime. Um, in summary, guys, same thing in the States, IRS, Revenue Canada, IRS, Revenue Canada, same thing, they will get you. Back in the day, the mobsters and the rich used to hide stuff offshore bank accounts in Singapore, Taiwan, Tijuana, Mexico, Spain, Portugal, Poland. They won't, trust me, the IRS, well, now I'm talking to U.S., but whatever. We'll find out. Their hand is longer than mine. They will find your offshore bank accounts. You can't hide those, believe me. Um, just a piece of advice, if you ever do get in trouble with IRS or Revenue Canada, work with them. I know you guys are saying, oh, whatever, Mr. Rebel, you don't know crap. Yeah, I do. I've been there. I'm not going to say anything out of confidentiality. I've been there. Work with them. They will. They're willing to work with you. They're not evil people. They're not, you know, no. They're like us, like me, Jimmy, Timmy. Blah, G, you know, whoever else I know, whatever. Job's a job, guys, okay? Job's a job, that's it. Work with them. They're willing to do a payment arrangement, say, okay, I only make this much. How much can I do? People, this is not a big, you know, I'm not preaching here. I'm just saying, if you just work with them, don't dig yourself a hole you can't get out. 
I'm not a financial analyst. Okay, I'm just a blonde guy that has a YouTube channel that works in the law in the protective industry and has a, and is called Mr. Red Bull. Okay, and loves cars and is an auto body technician. Okay, me and numbers don't get along. Most expensive place is the interest rate for student loans. I'm paying student loans back, and it's killing me. You know, and I'm. It sucks because in Canada you have to pay out of your butt to get an education, but a lot that's everywhere. So, you know, I understand that. But you know, we're young people. We only work for twelve dollars an hour. I, I, you know, my buddies work the same wage I do. Some different because of experience, but I'm not gonna argue. Okay, I'm not here to argue with people. I'm just saying that it sucks that we have to pay for years and years for for bloody education. You know, for a bloody education, we have to pay out of our butts. Okay, and, I mean, I'm good. Like, I'm, you know, I'm paying it back, and that's it. Whatever. You know, I pay everything when I can. That's it. Okay, guys, this is just an informative video explaining the video. I There's some things I... Didn't want to go into detail because it was on the cell phone. So basically, notice the seizure is that all assets have been seized by Revenue Canada. Bailiff comes in, puts it on the door, changes locks, takes possession of the property. They hire an auction company, in this case, Able Auctions. Shout out to my guys at Able Auctions. Good people. They go in there. They, you know, they have people that from they have what oh my god um sorry i'm trying to think of the word guys um assessors i think they're called um assessment there we go they do an assessment of the goods they value it oh this tv's worth 500 bucks this is worth a thousand you know they get a sheet of paper to write down the value so they calculate it to see how much money that revenue canada can get back if they auction these all assets off and they'll submit that to Revenue Canada. They most likely, I don't think they'll take a loss. I don't know because I don't work in that field. Trust me. Um, but they'll get you know they'll get their money back. That's it's ultimately the way that they do it. So they assess it, they submit it. Revenue Canada says, yeah, we'll go with this auction at the public. Um, you don't really see this in a lot of videos that I make. I just spun it. That's 110% doc. I can't. Those documents are real. I, I looked at them. I was like, what the hell is the notice of seizure? It clicked in my head. I'm like, Google. <laughs> I should make a shirt that says, when I don't Google it. Um, like I said, guys, it's, it's a known fact nowadays that a lot of things are starting to... You know, the economy's in the toilet right now, and and I don't like that, the fact that everybody's starting to lose their jobs. I mean, <sighs> hey, I wish I could, you know, you know, could, you know, kind of be like, you know, they tried everything. I mean, there's ways to go around it. But okay. All right, guys. Um, now, <clears throat> so what I want to talk to you guys now is a different topic. Um, if you guys have ever been there, um, if you guys remember, this is uh, just a two-part video. If you guys ever are interested in looking on about abandoned places, um. I personally, if you guys look at my previous video, I did work a site that I will try and get a photo of if I can. Um, if you Google Surrey Place Public Market, these photos are really outdated. Um, they, It was a market. Um, I remember when I moved into the Surrey location. And it was just, oh, it's fantastic. Um... It opened, I know, um, it opened in, it was built in 1990, closed in 1998. Uh, 
Um, if you guys look it up, um, check it out. Just Google search like abandoned things in Surrey. You'll find it. Uh, the photos are really outdated because if you look, the first picture. <coughs> I'm I'll post a link in the description. If I forget, I apologize. Um, it's been pretty much demolished. There is nothing left. When I was there, they washed off the building. Um, I, you know, you know, it's really sad to see, but it's like covered, like when I went there, it was covered in graffiti, you know, come on, guys, Jesus, grow up, you know what I mean? But well, forget that. So this is just what I want to say. Um, I'll post a link in the description. Um, it's pretty much gone. Um, that site now is, you can't have access to it, it's completely fenced in now, um, I drove past it about a month, uh, two weeks, a month and two weeks ago, I think, they got full on-site security there, um, sad to say, but that site has changed a lot of hands, um, I'm not gonna say anything past that, guys, um, like I said, it's, Basically, um, it was a public market. It was kind of like a um, market. It's pretty cool. Uh, I, I mean, I went there when I was a little kid with my mom. First day we moved into Surrey, it was pretty good. Um, do I regret moving into Surrey when I was a kid? No. Uh, I'm a Surrey boy for life. Don't hate. If you do, that's fine. Join the lineup behind me. <laughs> So, uh, you know, um, so basically, um, if you just Google search here, I'll sh I mean, my computer's been a real sweetheart to me. Sorry, I just, yeah, if you look up, um, abandoned places in Surrey, the first one, Urban Exploration Resource, I'll post a link in the description, and then you search places like West Van, North Van, Richmond, there's four places in Surrey, apparently. There's... Three abandoned houses and a church. I don't think that's abandoned because I live right beside it. Um, so, I, you know, sorry guys, I get kind of, I get on this thing of a kick. I get a kick out of this stuff. This is pretty good, actually. Like I said, guys, um... Oh, of course, um, you know, check it, check it out. Um, I'll post a link in the description if you guys are into stuff like that. Um, it's just a word of caution. I've never done it. I've never gone to an abandoned park. Actually, I have. I admit it. I did commit a criminal offense. Okay, I did. I did. Okay, Mr. Red Bull's not perfect here. Okay. Um, I actually was trespassing on property one time. I was young and stupid, so, um, just if you guys do that, please, um, don't be stupid. Uh, don't hurt yourselves. Um, there's always wear a respirator have safety equipment, but I'm warning you now, you may be arrested because it's private property. Irregardless, it's run down, it looks derelict. Don't do it. Okay? So, you guys just, you know, you're going to walk into, you're going to deal with homeless people. You don't know who's in there. Just be safe, guys, okay? I'm not condoning it. I'm not authorizing you guys to do it. Okay, get that through your head. I'm not. Um, most of these places, for weird reasons, people abandon them. I don't know. Uh, could be repossessed property. Maybe they just don't have the money anymore. Who knows? Um, and especially with these older homes, there's you can asbestos you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of 
diseases you could get. Needles. You never know. I mean, come on. This is a homeless where I live, you know. Okay, guys, come on now. Uh, just be careful, okay? I don't condone it. Um, if you guys get arrested, that's your fault. Not mine. So, guys, just be... Be... Vi... vi oh my God. Vigilant. Um... So, some of these properties are vacant for years. Eh, they're an eyesore. Um, the city doesn't do much about it. I mean, no one's going to pay the money. It costs probably over... <laughs> I mean, to get a demo crew out there, do a demolition, plus disposal, plus environmental fees, I cost money. Um... Yeah, so, and you guys, just let criminal, you know, if, don't get a criminal record. I mean, if you do it, like, if you search abandoned places on YouTube, there's people that do it, and there's horror stories. I don't want to get into it. I'm not paid to do that. Um, basically, what's the story on this? demolished okay good um there is um god damn it um yeah so you guys don't uh don't put your lives on the line because it's black mold vagrants needles if you're gonna check out property go ahead do it i don't mind have fun just don't you know kill yourself doing it um the Surrey Public Market, you can't get into. <laughs> Sad to say, guys, I'm not an advocate for the guy. Um, this thing has... It's pretty much gone. It's already been... Half of it's gone. They're still in the process of doing it. Um, I don't, guys. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay? Just don't. Um... So, other than that, guys, uh, thank you. Now, just a little histo weird factoid. Um, you guys ever follow the show Bates Motel? Um, tell me if this is, um, they actually, in Langley, this is no joke, I'm not making this up. Um, it's the house, it's the Bates Motel house, it's the motel. Um, you're not going to get in there. 24 hour guard. Off filming season. I can give you the address. It's 106272 Langley. That's officially the, the Bates Month House. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll post a link in the description where I'm finding all this stuff. You guys will love it. Um, like I said, guys. Oh, God. Oh, there's a. Huh. Yeah, that's gone. Okay. Um, like I said, um, well, this video has been a, it's a random video. Um, couple things there. Um, I don't want to say anything. If you guys go into this, if you want to go into abandoned properties, go ahead. I don't even want to say anything. I'll put a link in the description of where you can search them. I don't want to see you guys get hurt. Um, there's asbestos, mold, you know, that stuff will kill you. Believe me. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you guys. Oh, Jesus, this video is hours. Nobody wants to listen to my voice. Um, but um, we're just, uh, just going to finish this video up shortly. Um, like I said, guys, just... It's pretty sad to see a lot of these things. Oh. Huh. Okay. Um. Check out. It's uh. What the hell? That's weird. Huh.
Yeah, whatever. Um, check it out. Um, it's called. Oh my god. I'll put a link in the description, guys, if you're interested. Something I would do, but I'm in no condition to do stupid things. Check out these abandoned places. Cause number one, who knows who's in there? Number two, I'm not getting sick. I don't want to get asbestos poisoning. Um, whatever. Um, if you guys do, like I said, I'm not. I don't condone it. I will never condone it. Um, and at your own risk. So. Um. Other than that, guys, please, yeah, so like I said, that was the first video. If you guys like it, post a comment down below if you want more. I'll try and get into it. Um, so, it's called Urban Exploration Resource, www.ur. I'll post a link in the description if you want to check it out. There is a salt you can go from Vancouver, anywhere. Check it out, guys. Um... Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, that's the Moose Pop is now gone. I feel sorry for the workers and everybody in there. Keep it strong, guys. If you have any questions about anything I post, content, I'll answer it. Um, I want I want to interact with my fans. Do you like this segment? Do you like this? So, guys, comment. I want your comments. I can't produce better videos. With my God, my head is like cropped out. Like I have no head now. Wow. <laughs> Um, I want more suggestions from my subs, from people who watch my videos, because I'm pumping this content out, and I don't know what's making you guys come back, what's boring you, help me out. So like I say, guys, this was just a brief, um, uh, how can I put this, informational video about the thing and other things. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe down below if you want to see this pretty face. Like it, comment it, subscribe it, and check out my other videos. And I'll post a link in the description for this uh, website. And if I can edit this thing, I'll show you photos um, of the old market I used to work in. So I'll try something new. So thanks, guys, for watching. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. It's Mr. Red Bull signing off. Like I always say, keep on drinking Red Bull. Stay safe out there. And I'm out. And yes, I'm a bad boy. Ladies love me. Just kidding. Peace.